right, gentlemen, we go to the rules in the dressing room. Here's the regla in Camerino. I want a good, clean fight. Can I play Olympia? La truza aquí, un poquito alta, a little high here. Yours are okay. A little bit high too, but punches here are good. Give me a good, clean fight. Remember, guys, I'm fair, but I'm firm. Touch your belt. Final instructions from Joe Cortez. The World Featherweight Championship on the line. I think this is the first time in a while you can say it's truly the World Featherweight Championship. Now Manny beats Marco Antonio Barrera. Didn't even win a title. And didn't win a title. Who everybody recognized as the World Featherweight Champion. Left-hander comes out. He's wearing the flaming trunks. Marquez a more subtle white color with the red trim. Scheduled for 12 rounds. And I think it's going to be like this. <laughs> well, that's why Pacquiao has the flames on his trucks, because he comes out blazing. Every fight he fights is the same. He's got a lot of energy. He's going to be real busy, moving in and out. He's not a runner. No. He has a lot of movement. Well, what do you think the keys to this fight are, Lester? Well, I think for Marquez, he's got to establish that jab early. The way Marco Antonio Barrera beat, beat uh, Nassim. Good Nassim combination. Ahmed. The way B. Nassim Ahmed is establishing that jab, and against the left-hander, if you can establish that jab against him, it'll help him a lot. And you keep Pacquiao off of him, and he'll be able to land those combinations and those counter punches. What's a Pac-Man got to do? Not a Pac-Man's got to do what he always does. He's got to <laughs> rush. He's got to rush in. He's, he's got to be careful not to get too reckless, though, because he can get hurt by Marquez. He's a big puncher, and he's got to use his speed advantage. He's got to be careful not to stay inside too long. And, uh, but he's got to be careful when he throws that left hand, which is a very powerful left hand, not to overcommit. Another good combination from Juan Manuel Marquez. 30-year-old fighter who waited a long time to win those titles. Finally got one against Manuel Medina right here in Las Vegas, February 1st of last year. Then backed it up with a victory over Derek Smoke Gaynor. Heck out! There's that left hand. Comes in with a left hand and puts Marquez on the seat of his pants. Just that fast. Marquez has been down before against some pretty good fighters. Fred Norwin knocked him down. Daryl Pickney, a good German fighter, knocked him down. But he appears to be all right right here. Well, this is the point. Down goes Marquez again with another left. But this is the first time he's been down twice in a round. And there's a long way to go. Now his confidence has got to be think, shot. Yeah, he's got to be in a little bit of trouble here. He gets knocked down again. The referee might be in the fight. He didn't even get started, and Pacquiao was all over him. That could be it. That one hurt him. Only 30 seconds left in the round. I don't think he's going to make it through the round. He gets hit with another left hand. That's going to be it. But Pacquiao's got to be careful. Marcus can hurt you too. I don't know if the referee let it go if he gets knocked down for a fourth time. 15 seconds left in the round. Pacquiao just comes in and just unloads. I mean, this is no funny business whatsoever. Marquez has been down three times in the first round. Oh, Pacquiao. That's it. Marquez still standing. Pacquiao staring at him from across the ring, not going to his quarter immediately. He couldn't believe it. He couldn't believe he was still standing. He looked across the ring and Marquez like, why are you still here? You'll see the power of Pacquiao coming here. He has a huge left hand, and that's where everybody gets into trouble with Pacquiao. That is his bread and butter, that left hand. He's got to be careful in this fight, though. If he lays in there with that left hand, he gets he, he gets too careless. He could very well be countered by Marquez, who's a big puncher himself. Use your fence, use your fence. 